I'm Robert McMahon from Sydney, Australia, and here I am to answer some questions about solar energy that I've received from some of my clients. And the first question is, are solar panels hot to touch? Well, the answer is yes. During the day, the solar thermal panels or solar uh, electric panels are hot to touch, but at night time they cool off. Now, the next question I've had is uh, from uh, my friend in New Zealand. Uh, when will the world run out of petroleum oil? Well, according to the American uh, Institute of Petroleum, it'll be in the next 50 to 100 years. That means uh, the world will need to change over to alternate forms of energy for transportation which is now the uh, one of the major uses of petroleum for cars airplanes and ships so uh, we'll have to work out how to do it differently in the next 50 70 years so I better get cracking another question I've got here is can my home be entirely powered by solar energy well Yes, there are many uh, homes in rural areas that are entirely solar powered. Uh, people have solar panels producing electricity. They have uh, thermal panels producing hot water for their shower and bath. And uh, some of the farms have windmills and uh, also small hydro from streams. So uh, you can integrate a number of solar uh, sources of power into a home system. Uh, but you do need uh, batteries to store the power and uh, to run it when the um, sources are not working. You know, for, for example, when it's dark, obviously the uh, sun's not shining and um, when the wind's not blowing, the windmill's not turning and so on. And uh, five days backup is considered adequate for the average uh, installation. But usually uh, these systems also have a backup gen small backup generator uh, just uh, for emergencies so you can do it now oh, the next question on my list uh, is from a school boy in Arkansas USA and he's asked me uh, the question what is a bread box solar hot water heater well a bread box solar heater is it's a simple plastic bag with a tube attached and kids use it when they go out camping or people can use it anywhere they like but that's what is called a, commonly called a bread box solar heater a small uh, you can make one yourself with a plastic bag and uh, pipe and use it for your shower when you're out camping now uh, see what else we've got here um, now I think that uh, just about covers the uh, questions for today anyway uh, you can uh, get lots of ideas about solar energy and uh, global warming uh, thermal heat motor vehicles alternative fuels and additives all sorts of things from mr. solar energy website and resources that are published on the site and we welcome you to go there mr solar energy dot com or you can go to uh, solar and heat www dot solar and heats dot com and uh, if you uh, click the box there you can get some free information that you can download and uh, you're welcome to that and you can send us an email tell us what your um, ideas are or any point you'd like to make and we'll be happy uh, to hear from you and uh, hopefully uh, we look forward to getting back to you at some time in the future meantime check out those sites www.mrsolarenergy.com and www.solarandheattips.com bye for now and we'll see you next time